Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. Welcome to another Minecraft Monday. Today we will be working on the Minecraft sheep. I really had a lot of fun designing the templates for this, especially because it has this little protruding face and you can also choose whatever color you want for your sheep. As you can see in my Minecraft world, I have this farm with all different colors of sheep and right now I'm standing on my rainbow sheep mountain where all different colors are living harmoniously. There are so many color choices for this project. Red, orange, yellow, lime green, olive green. How did this orange one get in here? Teal, turquoise or blue, dark blue, purple, magenta, light gray, dark gray, black, white, and brown. I still need to get more of these guys. Now that you've seen the beautiful colors of Minecraft sheep, let's start with the templates. These are the colors I used for a turquoise sheep and the pastel blue is just to add a little bit of shading. This is the template for the sheep's head and you can turn it into a piggy bank by removing some beads in this middle row. These pieces make up the sheep's body and you can see that I've scattered some pastel blue all around mixed with the turquoise beads. All of these make the four upper parts of the legs and these will make the four bottom parts of the legs. To iron, you can use the masking tape method so that you can take all of the beads off of the pegboard and prevent the pegboard from warping when you're putting your hot iron on top of the beads. Place an ironing paper on top and I have my iron set at number 3 which is the polyester setting. Also a quick tip, I found that if you make a tape square like the one I have here, you can reuse it multiple times and use it for many projects. So keep it as clean as you can and don't throw it away only after one use. Once both sides are ironed, place a heavy book on top as it cools to keep it flat. If you're really experienced with ironing and you're comfortable with ironing directly on the pegboard, you can do that as well. I actually did this for all the other pieces because I do this a lot and I still recommend using the masking tape method if you're worried that your pegboards would warp and our heat settings are different. So just be careful and make sure you don't have your heat settings too high. Now for the fun part, it's assembly time and I hope you enjoy these clicking sounds.
This part is optional, but to make it look more like the sheep in the game, I'm painting two of the beads here white using some whiteout or white paint. With the head done, let's make the rest of the body. Now let's assemble the legs. To get these pieces to click together tightly, I did iron them a little longer than usual and you can see that the thickness of the beads is only around 3 millimeters. And usually when I iron my beads, they end up around 4 millimeters in thickness. So this is how they are able to stick together pretty tightly without coming apart. Before we assemble the rest of the leg, we have to attach this plus sign to the upper part of the leg and I'm going to be using these ArtCal acrylic rods to do this, but you could also use toothpicks. Just do this three more times and we can assemble the rest of the legs now. Like the previous pieces, these ones are also ironed longer so that they're around 3 millimeters in thickness. If you find that when you're clicking these pieces together and they fall apart easily or they're very loose, then try ironing a little longer, but be careful because if you iron too much, they won't even click together at all. Now we can click the legs into the remaining holes of the body. And the Minecraft sheep is complete. I really like Minecraft sheep because they can be found in so many different colors. And I also made this lime green sheep. This one doesn't have a slot, so unfortunately it can't be a piggy bank. And this is the baby pink sheep, also just the prototype sheep for when I was first creating the templates. Thank you guys 
guys so much for watching. I really hope you try this out yourself and please tag me at Cutie Crafts if you do so that I can see what colors you chose. Maybe next time I should make a yellow one if I have enough beads. I should also demonstrate how the piggy bank works. So here I have the largest Canadian corn I could find. It's a toonie and you just stick it in the hole. Shake, shake, shake and it should slide into the body and to take it out you just open up the butt piece and slide it out. This video's feature includes all of these lovely beaters who recreated my Minecraft bee from my last Minecraft video. Thank you so much for recreating and sharing your projects with me. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye! Hi! This is such a relaxed sheep. Hi, buddy. <laughs> And those alpacas too. Oh, hello. How are you? Hello. Hey, no biting. No biting. Bye, Mr. Sheep.